you, Canada has recently decided to agree to Germany's re request to send a, a gas turbine back. We're learning now that this is a deal that will last for two years. It could involve multiple gas turbines, but going back and forth. President Zelensky says that this is unacceptable. What do you say to him? What do you say to the Ukrainian people? What do you say to the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, who is now taking you to court over it? When you say you stand with Ukraine, is, are there no other options? Canada has been uh, one of the strongest countries in the world in standing with Ukraine, in being there to support President Zelensky and the heroic fighting that uh, people in Ukraine are doing, not just to defend their homeland against an illegal, unjustifiable, horrific invasion by Russia, but they're also standing up for the values and principles that, uh, that underlie our democracies and the rule of law and territorial integrity and sovereignty. So yes, Canada will continue to be there unequivocally to stand with Ukraine. So this was a very difficult decision. But we have seen Russia consistently trying to weaponize energy as a way of creating division amongst the allies, of undermining the general population's support for this essential effort in Ukraine that governments continue to support. And I remind people that the sanctions that Canada's leading on, that, that we continue to push harder and harder, are aimed at Putin and his enablers and aren't designed to harm our allies and their populations. This decision to uh, be there to support Germany and Europe in uh, the real challenges they face around energy, particularly uh, over the coming year, as they work as fast as they can to get off the reliance of Russian oil and gas, is an essential piece in ensuring that not just governments across Europe and around the world, but populations in our countries continue to support their governments stepping up with billions of dollars of support in military and financial and humanitarian support for the Ukrainian people while they lead this essential fight uh, against uh, tyranny and oppression. Like I said, Canada remains uh, one of the strongest allies to Ukraine, friends to Ukraine. We have been there. Uh, with economic support in the billions of dollars, significant armament, and we continue to, but we're not alone. Countries in Europe, particularly Germany, have stepped up massively in their support of Ukraine as well. And we need to hold together, particularly faced uh, with the um, attempts by Russia to weaponize energy policy, to divide us amongst ourselves. We will continue to stand up ever stronger sanctions, but remember that those sanctions are aimed not at our allies, but at Putin and his cronies. And that's exactly uh, why we took this difficult decision to be there for our allies, to ensure <clears throat> that in Europe, not just governments, but populations stay steadfast and generous in their support of Ukraine and of the extremely important fight that President Zelensky and Ukrainians are leading, not just to defend their own territory, but to defend the underpinnings of our democracies.